Come out of a look guys, thanks for tuning in. I don't think I need to say a lot about this one guys. The client is pucker happy though. If you remember the last video before, when this was a bit of a mess, painted everything that could possibly be painted in this lovely grey colour. Fake lawn, looks great, no maintenance. We didn't touch their patio, but look what we did to this amazing plant. It looked a bit scruffy, but it took five minutes with the secateurs and we turned it into something that's quite beautiful. The clients didn't want to throw their beloved Filiostachys mediopus officinalis away so we uh, decided to distribute them around the garden and pretty the place up a bit. How about this for a deck? Turned out that they perhaps didn't appreciate how big this was going to be. I mean it's not massive but it's a certainly a wonderful dining space. The furniture was kept hidden away languishing in the corner. It's had a bit of a clean and we've brought it back to life by putting it in the center of where the sun goes. Check this out. I love the smell of these. I mean they smell so mm, plastic. Do you remember when we first started filming this um, the clients were like we don't want plants, we don't want plants, we're struggling to keep these plastic things alive and I said I'll try and convince them to have some plants. <laughs> look what we got folks. This doesn't look well actually I think it does look beautiful because it's gonna cast these shadows on the fence in the winter. We'd done even better if we would have put lights underneath it but that wasn't to be. This is a Cornuscusa China girl. It's got amazing star-shaped flowers. Cucras, Vinca, Viburnum Davidii, Alessandra Terminalis, got to cover the ground. Oh, managed to get one of my favourites in. This is, what well, it should be called the Stegosaurus of plants, but it isn't. And I call it, it's a memory maker for kids because it's a Euonymus alatus. This is about to burst into millions of little tiny green leaves. I mean, the thing is going to get quite big, but clip it back, that's the trick. This will have loads and loads of green leaves all through the year. It's not for its flower. It's grown because it's, kind of, it's called a burning bush. And of course, late August, this is going to almost overnight, just as the temperature starts to go off, this is going to go bright pink and purple. And as soon as the first frost comes, all the leaves will fall off and then it reverts back to the Stegosaurus-like plant. It's one of my favourites and it's a memory maker for kids, so you should always have that in your garden, guys. We've got some climbers, Traculus spermum, Jasminoid, and then the scheme kind of repeats itself right the way down to this Fatsia japonica. So these plants, they're going to perambulate and hang over the edge and beautiful little lilac flowers, white flowers, lavender. That's going to be up here. This is going to be up here. This is all going to be green. And I'm, I'm kind of getting a bit green with envy, to be fair. Let's talk about the decking. This is one of the latest innovations from Trex. self countersinking screws with a special tool that they provide the pros. And, uh, and we put these little plugs in the surface and sometimes you really have to struggle to find them. And it actually doesn't look like there's any screws in the surface, but there is. It's the same on the fascia. We've got clips in the side. Uh, and this is the best that Trex have got to offer. Gravel path and island mist. I love the combination. It's exactly what the client wanted. So if you want to see me on my knees again, oh, I'm getting too old for this. Am I? I don't know, too fat, maybe. But anyway, tune in next time. We'll make some more magic happen. See you later.